Wearing trances Going all to different places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed You like the fast life You like to drive, get down and dirty Like, 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 like. guys welcome back to my channel it is Brittany so in today's video I have another human hair wig review for you guys today's video is brought to you by OMG her hair shout out to OMG her hair for sponsoring today's video so I have this natural coily curl 3d dome cap wig for you guys today so if you're interested and seeing how I got this look together, then just keep on watching. All right guys, so I'm gonna read the specs on this wig because this is different than the MCAP wig. I've gone ahead and looked at it and everything. It's similar, but it's not the same. So I'm gonna introduce this to you guys. So this is the OMG Her Hair 3D Dome Cap, and this is a eight by six HG Lace wig. So I'm gonna read the specs on what the 3D Dome Cap is. So with the 3D Dome Cap, it has the shape of the lace area and it's gonna be like contour to the shape of your head. So it's gonna lay flatter to your head so it's easier to wear glueless. And the lace ratio is eight by six. It's gonna give you a lot of area to part your wig and it's gonna be like nice and fitted to your head. And you don't have to wear it with any glue. And I'm gonna, like I used to be like, if they say glueless, I'll still add like spray or something. But I don't do that anymore because a lot of times with these type of these types of wigs, they actually make it very easy to wear glueless. And I'm going to make it easier on myself. Okay, so it has pre-cut HD lace. It has that C design um, to match the ears contour. So this is similar to an MCAP wig, but it when you look at the actual dome cap, it does have some, you know, differences to it. It has the removable combs, but instead of them being kind of like where you can tuck it into grooves, they have it with Velcro instead. So I like that. They have it with the Velcro so you can take it on and off. And that's with the bigger comb in the front and the smaller combs on the side there. And they do, instead of a comb in the back, well, they have a the Velcro longer comb in the back and they do have an adjustable, it's a drawstring, but they call it elastic cord, but this is an adjustable um, like drawstring in the back that you can, you know, adjust if your head is like bigger or smaller. And it does have like this stretchy, non-slip silicone band in the back for you guys as well. So this is different than an MCAP wig. So I wanted to kind of, you know, walk you through the little differences and nuances that this dome cap has versus a MCAP wig. So let's try it on and see what it looks like. Let's try that again. Cause it feels a little bit loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that a little bit. It's convenient to have that drawstring in the back too. Let's try this out. And this is my first time trying this variation of like a MCAP wig or just wearing the 3D dome cap. Oh, this is already pretty. It just needs a little bit of, you know, a little something and it'll be done. They are making my life so easy with these types of wigs. And then when I have to go back to try like a wig that requires a whole lot of work, I'm like, I don't even want to do it. So the curls, just out the pack. This is really cute. Really, really cute. So let me see how long this wig is. It's 14 inches and 180% density. So that's what this is. So this is cute already, but I want to kind of redefine the curls a bit more to make it work for me. So what I'm gonna do first is pull it down on my head and cut the lace off a little bit more cause they have it cut, but it's not, I just want a little bit more off. And I like how they have like the, the front of the wig kind of like molded up. That's nice. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this back a little bit. I'm gonna get my contour so this looks good but the only thing is it's it's stiff because it's been you know drying out in the packaging so I'm gonna fluff it out but then I'm gonna define it as well this is so pretty so I'm gonna take 
my Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse here and just define it and then diffuse it just because it doesn't, it just looks like kind of stiff right now. And when you add the curl mousse, it just makes the curls pop and it gives it more movement. So I have my unbrush here that Miss Chrissy, you know, put me on to. It's been going viral, but she convinced me to buy it. That's the only thing you got to really do with kinky curly wigs is define the curls. Um... I'm going to go through and do that. Let's see what this is like. Trances going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life, you like to drive and get down and dirty. I got the bad guy. i 
this is my hair it suits me so well this length the texture volume it's just perfect this is a gorgeous wig and it's super easy and I don't have any adhesive I'm wearing this 100% glueless to make it easy on myself the texture is just so realistic it's gorgeous I don't have it melted down and it still looks this good it looks so so good so again, this is their, this is OMG Her Hair's Natural Coily Curl. Natural Coily Curl 3D Dome Cap Wig. And this is in 14 inches and it's 180% density. And this is, this is considered like a bob style curly wig. And this is so, so pretty. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So it, the curls out the pack are pretty. I could tell they were pretty out the pack. But they were stiff because they had dried out. They've been, you know, through shipping and everything. So I refreshed the curls with my Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse here. And I used my unbrush because that's what I had like right beside me. And it helped with clumping the curls. And I did some finger, some finger coils. And it just turned out really, really pretty. Um, as far as like the lace goes, this lace does melt down really well, even without, I mean, well, I didn't melt it down with any adhesive or temporary adhesives, but I didn't have to because it has that 3D dome construction, so it's going to lay really flat to the contour of my head, and so the lace is not lifting at all. Um, today, as I'm filming this video, it is, you know, overcast, so it's been raining all day, and I did still do a sunlight test because... It's still relevant even in low lighting to go outside and show you guys what the lace looks like. Um, but with low lighting, you're going to see lace more than you would when it's direct sunlight. But I still feel like it looks good, especially with no adhesive at all. You're going to see where the lace starts and where my skin ends and everything. But it still looks good to me. And I think this is nice thin lace. And this is, you know... Completely glueless and this looks good, but if I decided to use my even um, lace spray, my melt spray, or my regular adhesive spray, it's going to look even better um, and more natural and seamless. So as far as like shedding and stuff, I use this unbrush and as I was um, clumping the curls and stuff, and this is the shedding that I got. It's not it's not that much. I am not going to really mention any tangling because I don't really run my hands through my curly wigs or my kinky curly wigs unless I am styling the curls. So that's all I did with the curls. And then as far as the lace, I use my contour, my uh, Plotio contour. I use my diffuser to dry the curls but not disturb the curl pattern and this this just looks so pretty and natural this is a really gorgeous wig it just looks so natural like i love this this is so 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 pretty so pretty oh my gosh this is like natural hair goals right here to have this like thickness this is so beautiful so beautiful i don't have any cons like what what is there to say i don't i don't have any there's no cons for me. This is easy, it's gorgeous, and it looks natural. So, like, I can't complain about anything. So, um, I'm a fan. I love how this looks on me. Uh, yeah. It's nothing to complain about. And I'm, I'm always going to be honest in my reviews, but I'm also not just going to be looking for something if there's nothing wrong with the wig. And this is just beautiful and super easy. This is what we've always wanted is super easy wigs like this. So if you're interested in this wig, I'll have all of the specs and everything and the link to purchase in the description box for you guys, as well as all the products I use to get this wig together. Shout out to OMG Her Hair for sponsoring today's video and shout out to you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and be sure to subscribe and follow me on all of my other social media platforms. They will be linked in the description box as well. Drop me a comment down below. Tell me how you feel about this wig and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.